Hey guys! So, pardon for my very wet sloth looking appearance today. I just got out of the shower and upon getting out of the shower, I noticed at my front door that there was a package. This lovely FedEx Fragile package uh, from my friend Jasmine. I want to say it was already about a year ago. Um, Jasmine, who um, on Instagram goes by the username uh, Ghoul with Beauty and Brains, um, Jasmine sent me a message saying that um, she really liked my makeup looks and my creativity and that she just really wanted to send me some presents. Um, so I sent her my address and she sent me a package about a year ago. She also sent me another one that I also unboxed on here and I also received a small present from her a couple months back of handmade plugs and jewelry. Um, that I believe she sells on her Etsy shop. She has an Etsy shop where she makes bows and uh, I think also those plugs and earrings and uh, necklaces, I think. Jasmine sent me a message a couple of days ago saying that she was getting ready to send me another box and this is that box. So before I get into the video, I wanna go ahead and apologize for my background being a messy, horrendous clutter. Um, what is the lighting doing? Well, my fiance and I are in the process of moving and because of that, we have a bunch of stuff just flying around. We are in desperate need of organization and I'm actually very thankful that this came because I can use this box to put stuff in to move out. But yeah. Also, Jasmine sent me a message saying that there was something in here for Eric. He's not home right now because he is at work, um, but I will message him and let him know what it is and I'll probably put his reaction in here somewhere. Um, but I'm very excited to see that. There was also an allusion to something spicy being in here and I love spicy food, so we'll see and what's up. For anybody else out there um, who watches my videos and who wants to send me products and gifts uh, the same way that Jasmine does occasionally. Um, I am talking with my fiance about starting up a P.O. box once we move into our new house. So within the next month or two, I will probably have a P.O. box set up and I will leave that P.O. box link in all of my description boxes below. So if any of you do want to send me anything, then you can go ahead and send it to the P.O. box. And just to further explain that, I'm not asking you guys to send me anything. Jasmine is just an amazing person and was really adamant about sending me something um, because she really enjoys my content and the stuff that I create on Instagram and YouTube. And I'm super blessed and thankful that Jasmine is taking the time out of her day and her wallet to send me presents like this. I don't really know what I did to deserve this, um, but thank you so much. And know that I will be sending something along shortly after I get all of this cluster shit together, because I'm basically putting everything in my life on halt uh, in preparation for this move, aside from like school and work, because this is taking a lot out of me and Eric. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get into the unboxing. Let's see. Ooh, there's a lot of bubble wrap in here. Jasmine's always really good about like making sure that these are like super well packed. But the thing I'm excited about for with the bubble wrap is that my bird Gadget really loves to play with bubble wrap and he will be so happy to see like this giant thing of bubble wrap just for him. So right on top, we have some sheet masks and they are all Korean sheet masks. I am a huge fan of Korean skincare. Well, one of them is called uh, Dabo Eco Lifestyle, and then these two are from Esfolio. Um, the two from Esfolio are a green tea mask and a volcanic ash mask. And then this one is a multivitamin mask uh, for nourishing, shining, and toning up the skin. So that's really awesome. I love sheet masks. Thank you so much. Right on top, more bubble wrap. Gadget is gonna have a field day with all this bubble wrap. What? There you go. Ooh, Sleek. I've actually never tried anything from Sleek. They've been on my radar for a long time, but 
the problem that I have with like makeup products is that I want so many and I want to play with so many, but I only have so much as far as money goes. There's a trash can right here, so I'm gonna throw boxes and stuff in there. But sleek makeup. This packaging is very sleek. This is a corrector and concealer palette in shade number one. Ooh, so we have two concealer, like cream concealers and a powder concealer. Let me just go ahead and swatch these, see if they match my skin. Okay. So one of them is more pinky, the other one's a little more yellowy, but they both blend in with my skin pretty well. And I can easily see myself using these for like, um, I've seen a big trend in like doing cut creases by putting concealer over the entire eye. What about this powder? That'd be a nice setting powder for the under eye. I like that. And the mirror is nice and big and clear. All right, this next one right on top, I can easily tell is from the Wet n Wild Mermaid collection that they had back out in the summer. I actually didn't get anything from this collection. I didn't see it anywhere in any of my Walgreens and any of my uh, CVS like stores anywhere. So I never actually got to play with any of this collection. Um, and this was the thing that intrigued me the most. It's the Midnight Moon Highlighting Bar. Oh my goodness. This is even prettier in real life. Oh my god. Oh, there's a seal on it. Because, of course, Wet n Wild has to make everything astro proof. Oh my god, there's another one on the bottom! Safety sealed for my protection, my ass. This is safety sealed to irritate the fuck out of me. Alright. Look at that. It has like this really cool blue, green, and gold iridescence to it. It's very soft. That looks dope. Oh, and it's so subtle, too. That's gonna be so pretty. I don't know if it would actually work with my skin tone as a face highlighter, but I'll definitely use this on my eyes. Thank you so much. Up here we have a trick-or-treat coffin box. This is so cute. I think I saw these at Dollar Tree during Halloween, and I wanted to get a few, but like, I always have to restrain myself from buying too many things that I really don't need, and I couldn't think of a purpose to buy it for, so I never bought one. But I think I can use this as a new jewelry box for my plugs. I've been needing a new box to hold my plugs, because I have so many now that the current bowl that I have them in is overflowing. So this is a cute little box. Treat box, look inside. Oh! How did I know you were gonna do this? There's, there's body jewelry in here. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Body jewelry is expensive. They're all from a uh, site called Painful Pleasures. I've never heard of this brand before. But we have these really dope spirals. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are glass. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful. And it's my favorite color combo. Oh my goodness. Thank you. These are beautiful. I love spiral plugs too. Like, they're my favorite ones to wear for like the most impact. This is gorgeous. And I love having little mini baggies like this for like travel and like sending stuff off on Depop. These acrylic lip rings. Hopefully these work for my uh, lower librette because all of these piercings right here are 16 gauge, but this one's a 14. I think these look, these look like 14. So that'll be for my center librette. Some plugs. They're just stainless steel these little spiders on them. I'm gonna keep them in the bags just so I don't lose them. Oh man, there's more in here. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, so I was talking before about how Jasmine makes her own plugs. These are beautiful! Oh man. 
Some of them are tangled. Hang on. And I really hope that she sells these on her Etsy because look at this one. That is so beautiful. It has the stone right on top here. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. There's also this one here with this like really nice filigree twist. And this like raw stone on top. And the plug itself is made of acrylic right there. These are beautiful. Here's one with a pyramid and an eye of Horus. And she knows I have a really big thing for Egyptian aesthetics and imagery. These are so beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh man, I never, like, these ones especially are just so pretty. You're so good to me. Thank you so much. And I have a new box to hold all my plugs in. Thank you. More bubble wrap with stuff in the bubble wrap. All the bubble wrap for Gadget. He's gonna, he's gonna love me. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. So, oh, shop Miss A. I've actually, I purchased a lot of stuff from Miss A before. Um, this is a website where basically everything on the site is a dollar and they sell makeup, they sell accessories, they sell, um, like stationery, they sell body jewelry, which I purchased a couple of their body jewelry things just to see what they were like. And some of them are not bad, but some of them are a bit on the well side. Um, but she bought me a lot of makeup. Holy shit. <laughs> So a lot of the products in here I'm seeing are from AOA Studio, which is a cruelty-free makeup brand that's sold on Miss A exclusively. So let me see what they have in here as far as AOA goes. So these are three, I think these are liquid lipsticks? Oh no, this is a white concealer. That's a concealer. And it's white. It says it's the highlighter. But... It's matte white. Hell yeah. I've wanted to try the Kat Von D Whiteout Concealer ever since she released it, but Kat Von D is a little bit above my budget, and this is a little bit easier in my budget. So if I end up liking this, I can only spend like a dollar on it. These are the Wonder Metal Liquid Lipsticks. There's a fuchsia one called Unicorn, and this purpley steely one called Sleek. That's Unicorn and Sleek. We have two stick lipsticks in here. These are the Wonder Lipsticks. 20, they boast 24 hour lipsticks and they're little bullets. I'll have to try that out. Um, but these are frost finishes. This one is called Pout and this one is Plum. Pout looks like a deep blue, like a maybe bluish purple. I can't really tell in the packaging here, but Pout or this one's pow, this one plum is definitely more of like a plum purple. It's like a cool toned berry kind of color. Another thing from AOA Studio is the Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent. This is perfect because I really love using loose setting powder for my face. Um, uh, I've talked at length about how much I love the Corpse Cosmetics Vampire Veil. That's like my usual setting powder, but I'll have to try this one out too. Thank you for stocking me up. <laughs> And these last items in this bag, I have, what is this? Oh, this is the UHD Concealer from A2O. Oh, this is AOA Studios as well. This is a highlighting concealer as well. It's another white concealer. These are the Prism Cream Eyeshadows in the shades, do they have shade names? I don't see shade names, but I'm going to assume white and black. <laughs> and that's perfect because these are the two most used colors out of any palette, any eyeshadow that I use. And they come in like little hygienic tubes like this. That's really cool. And we have another bag here filled with miscellaneous items. I see two other uh, AOA Studio lipsticks in here. Oh, and they're in the same shades. So I have two of the 
uh, AOA lipsticks in Pout and Plum. I just might give these to my mom. I don't know how she feels about blue lipstick, but I know purple is her favorite color. So I'm going to go ahead and give the purple one to her. See how she likes that. What is this in this fancy box? Ooh, Medusa's makeup. I haven't purchased from Medusa's in a very long time. They used to have, uh, sell them at Hot Topic and that's where I used to buy them, but then they started slowly but surely easing them out so they can make way for their own in-house brand. Um, but this, this is bringing back memories. I love Medusa's makeup. They're a really awesome cruelty-free and vegan brand. This box here, I want to keep the box because look how pretty and ornate this is. It has like this really awesome filigree going around it with these butterflies. One of them is a butterfly, the other one's a Luna Moth. That's beautiful. So this shade is called Triple X. Hmm. Very fancy square packaging. Ooh! It's a nice fuchsia. Very red looking fuchsia. That's pretty. I want to swatch it really quick. Ooh. Nice and creamy, very pigmented. Me gusta. I have another one from Medusa's makeup. This is the lip paint in the shade Cowgirl. It's like a sandy brown. The packaging kind of reminds me of the NYX, um, what are they called? They're a lip and cheek tint. I got one in one of my Ipsy bags and I really like it. So yeah, I don't know. The packaging just reminded me of that. I have no idea if they're similar. Okay, the packaging on this looks really dope, and I want to know what this is, because it's, like, super geometric. This is from Amuse Cosmetics, and it is a liquid lipstick. I don't see a shade name. 2089, I think, is the number? But it's, like, this really, really pale pink. I'm not usually one for wearing super pale pastel lip colors like this, but I'll give anything a try. That was loaded with lip products, and Jasmine knows I'm a huge lip, I'm a lipstick junkie. So thank you so much. Ooh. This is from a brand called Bad Habit Beauty, and it's the After Party Palette. Nine color eyeshadow palette. I've never heard of this brand before, but it says on the back here they're cruelty free, they're PETA certified. I've never heard of this brand before, but let's see this palette. The names of the eyeshadows on the back though are Blackout, Morning After, Tipsy, Strobe Light, Hairspray, Trouble, Open Tab, Musk, and Invite Only. So it's a very like party girl palette. I'm thinking like smoky. Ooh, this is nice and sultry. So there's like a little plastic bit over it. Very nice mirror. But this is the palette. Really nice colors. I like this morning after color, like that matte orangey kind of color. As always, I'm a big fan of matte blacks and cool toned matte transition shades. So this is a really nice palette. I like this. Thank you. I hope this wasn't too expensive. My biggest worry is when people spend like shit tons of money on me and I'm like, please don't do that. I can't pay you back. <laughs> like, I know she doesn't want me to pay her back. Like we've talked at length about this. Like, I know she doesn't want me to pay her back, but like, you know, you spent time and money doing this for me. I have to do something for you. You know, like that's just how I feel. I applaud you. Jasmine for taking so much time to package all of this so nicely. I think there's another layer of bubble wrap on this one. Oh my. Ooh, so these are from AOA Studio, again from the Shop Masse site. And these are the Wonder Baked Highlighters. This one's a pink duochrome, and I love pink duochrome. Ooh, this one's a purple duochrome. Oh. So this one is called Cloud. It's just a basic white highlight. This one is Snow. And this is the one that has the pinky tone to it. Yeah, you can kind of see it in the 
in the camera. And this last one with the purple glow to it, it's like a purpley blue. It's called icing. Yeah, you can catch it there. That's so pretty. I've never actually used a baked highlighter before. I'm usually super wary of baked products because a lot of times I've used them, they've been like super dry. Is there like tape on this or something? So yeah. I'm gonna try icing out, see how it feels. That feels really soft. And that's a very nice color. Okay, so it's a subtle highlight. Very, very subtle. I feel like this would look really nice over a liquid highlighter as a base, or maybe as like a topper for some eyeshadows. That's super pretty. Please don't break. Very hearty packaging too for only a dollar, so. Super excited about those, thank you. Okay, so the so the bronzer here is from Amuse and it's the, just called the Matte Bronzer. I don't see a shade name on it, so I'm going to assume that this is the only shade available. But it's very pretty. Looks to be a bit on the orangey side. Yeah, it's a bit orange. For me, I might give this to my mom because I think she can get away with that. So she'll be happy about that. <laughs> this up, uh, and then this one here is the Santi, Sante, San, San, Sante. -y. I don't do French. This is their matte powder. It looks to be my shade. I feel like I would wear this on like more of a natural day. There are some days where I just don't wear foundation, like, at all. I'll just put on a primer and a face powder and then head out the door. Um, I feel like this would be a nice powder for that. Looks to be about my skin tone. Uh, it's a little tanner than my chest is in the pot, but it might be a little more translucent on my face. I'll have to give this a go, but thank you. Oh, and it comes with its own little powder puff on the back. I was wondering why it was soft. And it looks to be the last thing in here. Is it the last? Yeah, the last thing in here, aside from a plethora of bubble wrap for my bird, uh, is another package. The box itself is from Hush. I don't believe I've ever heard of this site before, or this company. I don't know if it's a makeup site or what, but we'll see. But having another box is always helpful. You know. Oh! Candy! Hell yeah. Oh, this is what she was talking about when she said spicy. Okay. So it looks like. Where are these from? It's written in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish super well, but I've picked up a little bit. Let's see here. Uh, this one is. Pineapple and chili. Ch Pineapple and chili lollipop. And there are a couple of these in here. A lot of these lollipops are covered in chili powder. That is so weird. Is that just a thing in... Yeah, most of these are made in Mexico. Is that just a thing in Mexico that they put chili powder on everything? Like... I've never tried Mexican candy before, so this is going to be very interesting. This one has a watermelon on front of it. Rebanaditas, I believe. But it's covered in chili powder. Watermelon and chili? I don't know how that's gonna taste. Chili covered tamarind lollipop. I like tamarind. It's like an orange. But it's covered in chili powder. <laughs> There's so much chili powder! Oh my god! What are these? Tamarind pulp candy. So it's like jerky, like fruit jerky. I like fruit jerky a lot. Oh my goodness, these are so strange. Oh, peanut marzipan candy, okay. So it's like a marz marzipan kind of candy. I like peanuts. I know Fresa is strawberry, so I think this is caramel, strawberry, and chili. I'm not totally sure. More of that pulp candy, so more fruit jerky. 
Then there's little bits of these packets in here too. These are salt and lemon powder. We sell these at my liquor store for margaritas. We have more of these chili covered lollipops. This is so cool. It's cool, but it's weird. I've never seen like chili powder on candy before. What is this? Is this a jawbreaker? Mango and chili. This looks to be a jawbreaker. Oh my goodness. Jawbreaker. I think this is another one. This one is slightly melted. Oh dear. Let's see, what is this one? Watermelon gummy flavored with a with tamarind. So watermelon and tamarind. These are tamarind flavor soft candies. So I think you like push them up and like eat the candy that comes out. Do I dare try? How do I? I want to try this on camera. A lot of these lollipops I'm not going to try on camera right now just because, um, oh wow, those already popped out. Just because I don't want to start a lollipop and like have to put it down somewhere. Let me try this. This is the tamarind flavored soft candy. Hmm. has a very orangey aftertaste. I like that. This one here is Lucas Mango Sweet and Sour Mango Flavored Powder. I have to snap off the tip here. Wow. So it's literally just a powder that I spilled all over myself. It smells really good. <laughs> Oh wow, that's sour. I like it though. That's really nice. These two are, this one is sealed, so I'm not going to try it right now, but this is from the same brand as the mango powder. This one is tamarind flavor and it also has chili mixed in with it. So that's really cool. And then this one, again, from the same brand as the powders. The brand's called Lucas, by the way. This is Chamoy flavored hot liquid candy. What the hell's Chamoy? Chamoy, Camoy. Let me try this. I want to try this out. Oh my god. That is liquid. <laughs> like, look. Oh, wow. It's like cinnamony. So when you said that there was going to be some spicy foods, you literally meant spicy food. When I come home from work tonight and Eric comes home from work tonight, I am probably going to sit him down in front of the camera and we can try these out together. Thank you. I've never tried Mexican candy before, so this is going to be super interesting. I'm sure Eric has tried some Mexican candy because he used to live in Texas and I think it might be more readily available there than it might be here in Georgia. Um, but thank you so much for all the treats. I love trying out new foods and new candies from different places and uh, super excited for this. I unfortunately have to speed out of here because I have to go to work in less than five minutes. Really but quick and super well-deserved Thank you to Jasmine for being an amazing person and just taking the time out of your day to make your plugs for me, to buy candy for me, to buy makeup for me, to put all of this together, to send things out. Just thank you so much. I, I'm so blessed and I, I don't know what to say. Um, other than thank you, um, I'm most likely going to be sending you something as a massive thank you present after uh, everything is said and done with my move. And as for everybody else who is interested in sending me things, I again, I don't ask for you guys to send me things. I don't necessarily want you to send me things, but I have had 
people message me on Instagram, Facebook, um, Tumblr even saying that they just really enjoy my content and that they genuinely want to send me something to thank me for posting and for talking with them and I, I, I don't know how to respond to that other than thank you because like, you know, I just, I just make content and put it up on the internet. I don't really know how, like, it, it, I always get like this giant rut in my head that, you know, I'm rehashing the same looks over and over again. I feel like my creative juices aren't flowing. I feel like I'm uninspired or that I'm not like reaching out to other people and I'm not inspiring them. I'm not doing enough. And I constantly beat myself down for not being a better YouTuber, for not being a better content creator in general. And it's things like this where Jasmine just really wanted to send me presents and there's people in my inbox on Facebook who are like, hey, let me send you something. Do you have an Amazon wish list? I could send you something. And it just warms my heart, man. Like, I, I, I feel like I don't deserve these things at all. But the fact that you guys want to send me these things makes me feel just so happy. And I feel like I'm going to fucking cry. I'm sorry. Give me a sec. Just thank you. I, I can't thank you guys enough. And also, once Eric and I move into our new place, we're going to be organizing to where I can have a P.O. box. So, um, if you guys want to, you know, send me letters, send me presents, send me gifts or coupons or something, I don't know. Uh, you no, know, you can go ahead and do that. Um, I also really hope to some point this year do my very first giveaway because I've never done a giveaway before and I would really like to do something to give back to you guys because I feel like you all have done so much for me that you know I, I, I just want to give back and I don't really know how else to do that with something other than a giveaway. I have to go skedaddle because I have to be at work in three minutes. <laughs> um, it's neither here or there. But um, again, big thank you to Jasmine. Big thank you to you guys for subscribing and watching and being the coolest subscribers ever. I appreciate all of you. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, and YouTube to see a good portion of these products in action. And if you guys want to see any reviews, over anything that Jasmine has sent me, feel free to message me down below in the comments and I will go ahead and review it for you. So I wanted to film this yesterday, but I got home late from work. You got home late. I should pull me from the yard work to uh, eat some things, so. Yeah, cause uh, yesterday, well, it's yesterday to us, but it'll be in the same video as my unboxing from Jasmine, but she sent a bunch of Mexican candy, one of which just fell out. And uh, she sent this specifically saying that it was for both me and him. So we're going to eat it. I already tried some of it, but you're more than welcome to try some. Have you ever had any of this? Because like, I know Mexican candy is easier, is more easily accessible in like, uh, Texas and you used to yeah. live in Texas. Yeah, typically. But I mean, you know, like they're they're around. It, it honestly just depends on the merchant. Okay. Um, y you can find them in a lot of stores in Atlanta. So you want to try this? This was the weirdest one. This one is from a brand called Lucas. It is chamoy flavored hot liquid candy. May I try first? I tried it yesterday, but I got squirted. This is weird. I got to squirt it in your mouth. You like it? It's weird at first. Yeah. I, th I said it kind of tasted like a cherry cinnamon kind of flavor. Makes my teeth feel weird. <laughs> it makes Ugh. your teeth feel weird? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it makes them feel, like, gritty. Like, you know that feeling that you get, like, whenever you, um, like, if your teeth are upset, 
If your teeth are upset. If your teeth <laughs> Stop personifying your teeth. That's weird. If your teeth, if they hurt and then you put some cold water on it and then you then you put your teeth together like and it feels feel, there's like a certain feeling with it, I don't know. No, it's just like a weird cinnamony kind of candy flavor. Well try this one. You wanna try that one? I didn't do. Okay, well hang on. I have to figure out what it, exactly it is. Oh. It looks like a chicken nugget. <laughs> it does look like Look at that. Hold up to the camera. Don't be shy. And even though... It looks like a chicken nugget. And even though it looks like a burnt chicken nugget. <laughs> I still love myself. <laughs> so this is chili-covered tamarind lollipop. Don't smack it on your face. That's gross. You've been sweating. I'm I don't... Just... I don't this eat is, it. It's... No, I'm just making a makeup joke. Okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's... Do you know what tamarind is? What? Tamarind. It's like an orange. So it's like chili-covered orange. It's a lollipop. You have to suck on it. Mm, I don't wanna. What the fuck, Eric? <laughs> mm. Is it good? I can't tell. You can't. I don't get it. Let me try it. I don't care if we're swapping spit. I mean... <laughs> I feel like there's a layer that you have to... That you have ah! to... Ah! Exactly! It's oh like it's like you're eating the embodiment of a cat's tongue. That's really spicy. But I feel like there's a layer you have to get past, and then there's something yeah. else. But it kind of hurts. Wow. That's intense. This I actually really liked. This is tamarind flavored soft candy. It's like gummy. Okay. So you have to squeeze it out like Play-Doh. Okay. And you eat it. It's a hit with the with the children. Don't don't squeeze all of it out. What the fuck, Eric? <laughs> it's gummy. You have to like really get at it. <laughs> you're, you're doing so well at this. But I'm taking it that's what the under layer of that weird ass lollipop was i mean that's okay yeah i like this one that's 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 good mm -hmm. mm. that one is a chili cover or that one's pineapple chili flavor it's not covered in anything what is up with chili on candy i don't know i think it's just a thing that mexican candy likes i'm going to assume that all of these are mexican because like it's all in spanish and a lot of them say um product of Mexico mm -hmm. on them. Okay, so. Pina Loca. Chili flavored pineapple candy. Astrid hates pineapple, so I'm gonna eat this one. Well, I, I wanna try it, just for the sake of trying it. Nope. Please? Oh my, it's delicious. Please. That's actually not bad. Yeah. It tastes like a pina colada. These ones are like fruit jerky. So this one yeah. is extra hot and salted tamarind pulp candy. That's yep. the exact same thing. Same thing. Yeah, extra. We'll, we'll try one. Oh, actually three of them. You give us three of these. Mm. What is tamarind? I so said it was like a, um, it's like a citrus uh, fruit, I guess. This one's another one of those chili lollipops, but it's watermelon flavored. Hmm. Do you like that? I gotta say, so I personally like hot things. Astrid likes to eat hot food as well. I'm a big fan of the hottest hot sauce that mm -hmm. they have available at any place or establishment. I get chicken wings. However, when it comes down to candy, <laughs> I... Yeah. I can't get down with it. Like you can't. No, like here, let's switch. It, it's 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 so. It it offsets the enjoyment of candy. It smells. It's like it's like there's two different things. You, it smells interesting. Like like you got you got chocolate and milk, right? Okay, perfect combination. Ooh. You know, or s'mores, graham crackers, something like that. You got Ooh. chicken wings and hot sauce and beer. 
that's a combination. However, oh. whenever you try to add hot things with canned, it you, you see what I mean. I like the taste of this. I like the flavor, but I can't get down with the texture. The te that is a texture. The, the texture is a little weird. Maybe if it was a little bit harder. This one is our palate cleanser. Yeah, I like I like that lollipop, but like I th I feel like the the jerky. I like the flavor of it. I like how hot it is. I like it with the tamarind flavor. Um, definitely a little bit easier to eat than the lollipop. But I don't know. I maybe we have to freeze these or something, and they would be like a little bit easier for me to eat. Yeah, I would think yeah. so. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. Where's the wrapper that we had this in? I'm gonna put it back in the wrapper and uh, I'm gonna stick it in our fridge and see if that makes it a little bit better. Stick it in a little freezy pouch, in a little freezy compartment. Yeah, my hot pockets in there. <laughs> yeah, it keeps making the door open. Yeah, and I, I need to make that. Okay. I'll so actually make that before work today. That that's Bella, a it's a marzipan candy. Marzipan. We're gonna find out what that means. Yeah. Marzipan is like a nut candy. Okay. It's like a pastry kind of deal. So this one might make up for everything. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not really a huge fan of marzipan. Mmm. You like it? Mmm. Let me try that. That was fracking delicious. See, that's candy. Mm. That's candy. It's got peanut buttery shit, nutty shit, mm. chocolatey ish. I have no idea what the fuck's in it, but it's delicious. No, this tastes like the filling of a Reese's cup. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's that kind of like flaky peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's fucking delicious. You want to finish this off and kill it? Yeah, fuck it. That one is a sour mango oh. powder candy. It kind of reminds me of Baby Bottle Pops. Oh, my baby back, baby back bottle pop. No, nope, 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 that's the wrong song. Pull out your hand. And just lick it up. <laughs> you know how I got on camera. Mm -hmm. Right? No. You don't like it? No. They, they lied again. What do you mean? It's not sour mango. It's not just sour mango. It's sour spicy mango. <laughs> I like this shit a lot. Here, hold on, hold on. Maybe I had the last, the last taste of the shit that I had in my mouth. No, it has a bit of a spice to it. But it's good, right? Yeah. I feel like this would be awesome on like Fun Dip or like a, uh, like Baby Bottle Pop. Mm. What, what were the other like powder or lollipop candies? The paintbrush lollipop. I can't remember what it's fun called. Dip. I, I just said fun dip. Did you? And yeah. then lastly, I think this is another one of those like soft candies. I didn't open this one before, but this one is also hot tamarind. I think that's just a really popular flavor in Mexico. Yeah, because obviously they have to have a they have to have an audience to keep producing this. Yeah. Oh. Now, the only way for me to get that was just to unwrap the entire thing. This is the last bit. The oh wow, this is. That's some slotchy glosh. Let's see here. If this will work. But yeah, I think the biggest hit for us was that marzipan. We're not trying Glenlivet on camera. Oh shit. Okay. I already know how Glenlivet tastes anyway. Yeah, I'm not I'm not much of a It's like I like a nice scotch, but I'm not much of a liquor person. They called the Enterprise a garbage scout. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really, bro? So you're not gonna, like, defend my honor after they called me a... Oh, well, this a, was a matter of pride, sir. A regalian bloodworm. It's like, yeah, yeah, Scotty, fuck you too, bro. <laughs> Scotty has his priorities in check, man. Oh, yeah. This oh, is yeah. really hard to push up. May I? Yeah. Yeah, seriously, this is a... They have this for children. Are these for children? But how the hell is the children gonna make it happen? I'm gonna try and scoop out some from the cap here. Bruh, this ain't moving. Maybe there's some kind of secret. Just lick off the top. Yeah, I'll get what's in the cap. There's a hair attached to it. I like that. It's like the. It's basically the same as this, just a little thicker. Overall, though, not bad. Mm -hmm. Especially like these. I want. I want more of that La Rosa. De La Rosa. The, the De La Rosa. Um, the um. Uh. Marzipan. That was it. The marzipan. Yeah, so, um, Ow. I gotta say, a very, um, a very 
wonderful cultural experience mm -hmm. of Mexican candy. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, like I said earlier, I am just a firm believer in the distinction between things like milk and graham crackers and chicken <laughs> and and like hot chicken wings and beer. Mm -hmm. Like you don't you don't drink beer with candy usually. So it's like it's like those distinction things. But all overall, very nice. I'm super happy that Jasmine even decided to send these over. Like, that was super sweet of her. Oh, yeah, I think my favorite was definitely that marzipan. The marzipan was really good. Um, I'm a big fan of these, like, powder candies. Like the the hot uh, mango. I think the fruit jerky would taste better if it was a little harder. So I'm going to stick it in the fridge and see how I like it after doing that. But overall, I like the taste of that. I know you didn't like it, but... I mean, it's all right. Hmm. This lollipop, though, the, the uh, pineapple chili lollipop, this is so fucking good. Thank you for coming on camera to try them with mm -hmm. me. And uh, big thank you to Jasmine for sending these over. We went through the entire box. Um, this was really fun. I, I loved this. And big thank you again for sending all of that lovely makeup and I used some of it today for this makeup look. This look should be up next week um but if not I will let you know and uh yeah thank you guys for watching this video if you guys have any further comments questions or concerns feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and also down below in the description box will be any information pertaining to the video that I didn't cover in the video. Do you have any final words that you want to say? Uh go team Korea team USA. Oh yeah, we're binging on the Olympics right now. Uh, <laughs> Smash it. Figure skating. Yes. Men's figure skating. Oh my god, Hanyu. So. Hanyu. 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 Anyway, once again, thank you to Jasmine for sending all of this candy and makeup. I am truly blessed to have a person like you in yes. my life. Thank you. That was, that was, um, half of it was very delicious. Thank you very much. <laughs> half of, that was such shade. <laughs> I'm oh my sorry. god. Hey, hey, oh, uh, this was a taste video. Our opinions are supposed to be in here on this. Accurate. You know. And she did say in her message that she really hoped that we liked the spicy food. Yeah, I mean, so, it, it depends. So you you were right. You terrified me a little bit. But it's okay. It was a good kind of terrifying. Yeah, like the you know, like little push pop shit, like mm -hmm. that stuff with the spice in it. That's, that, that's good. That's okay. I dig it, yeah. But the other stuff is like weird. But anyway, we're gonna sign off. So, ah! <laughs> <laughs> that is how you end in the video. That's how you end the video. <laughs> yes.